Hi, Hiram here. I know some of you are going to think I'm nuts, but I'm back again to do another boil test on this Vulcan Safety Chef camp stove. A couple of days ago I did a video on this where I used one of the uh, canisters that I, one of the canisters that goes in this. I got one, a couple of these, excuse me, sore throat this morning. Uh, <clears throat> these things got to be decades old. And if you watch the old video, you saw what happened. Well, what I did was I cleaned out the can. There was a residue left over. This was all that was left in the can. It looks kind of like clay to me. So I think what was in the fuel can was clay impregnated with some petroleum product. When it burned, it left soot everywhere. I was blowing soot out of my nose for hours. So anyway, what I did was I refilled the can with perlite. Hope it's not too bright here. And I put two fluid ounces of methanol in there. Now I've done this before and everything turned out all right. The can just fits down in here like this. And then he snapped this back shut on it. And the stove is ready. I'll have to open it up again when I go to light it. What I'll do now is break and get my water prepped. And I'll be right back for another test that I hope isn't quite as flamboyant as the last one was. Be right back. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Let me light this. That's lit, so now all I have to do is just snap this down. See how the flame comes up through, heats up the chamber inside, and then makes for a, a nicer burn. Now this time, if something does go bad, I'll just stick this can over the top of it and put everything out. I also have several fire extinguishers here, so and baking soda, so we should see what happens. All right, I think that's going. Before my water goes up any higher, two cups of water setting at 60, 61 degrees, and let's see where this goes. We're now at three minutes, and the temperature has gone up to 140 degrees, and this is what the flames look like now. Now it's making a bit more noise, but I think that might be because it's a bit sooty inside from that uh, runaway flame on the last test but still it looks a whole lot better than it did the last time. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes 34 seconds. And let's see what the flames look like. Um, this is a whole lot nicer flame than the runaway I had the last time. See, so that's about like what I'd expect. So let me put the water back on. And I'll just let this go to see how long it takes the two fluid ounces to run out. Here's a closer shot of what the flames look like after the water came to a boil. A whole lot nicer flame. Uh, I don't, don't know what the chugging is, but if you can look down in there, that inner cylinder is like red hot. And that ha helps vaporize the alcohol that's coming up through and make it burn nice. This is really what I expected. More what I like what I expected with that cartridge the other day, but I guess the fluid, the fuel was just too old. Okay, so I'll just let this run out and we'll see how long the two fluid ounces last. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but there's just the barest of flames still coming out of this. So let's just let that go. So this was a test done where I refilled the can, which you could use any can that would fit in this. The uh, can dimensions on this was... 2.97 inches in diameter with a height of 1.16 inches. So if you can find a can about that size, like a tuna fish can or something, or even a can if you have to cut it down a little bit, 
Uh, in this case, I just refilled it with perlite. If you don't know what perlite is, this is perlite. It's like a white stone. You can find this at most uh, plant shops. They use this to supplement dirt to make it a little bit more porous and stuff. Fairly cheap. I just poured it in the can and then just put uh, two fluid ounces of methanol in there. Now when this all burns out and it's dry, I could just put this lid back on and carry it around. As long as you wouldn't be able to store methanol in the can, but once it's burned out, there's no reason why you couldn't carry that safely. Okay, this is still just glowing. So let's say still just I'm going to call it at 16 minutes for run out. So that tells me that I probably could have just used one fluid ounce on this to get boiling water. So it's not a bad little stove. It's old, but there's no uh, you know, temperature regulation or anything with this. It's mostly just for, I guess, heating up water. You might be able to heat up beans and things like that with it. You just have to be stirring it all the time. So that's the Vulcan Safety Ship safety chef camp stove and like I said on the other day when it came out it said that it was good for fishing hunting picnicking in the household it shows a, a housewife using it in the house on a boat and out camping although this is a little bit heavy I, I would think for carrying it around for camping but for an emergency emergency boy I can't talk Excuse me. An emergency type stove. This isn't bad. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Sorry it wasn't as exciting as the last show, but what can I say? And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.